Hello, welcome back to Mama's Nook. June is Pride Month. In support of that, I have some fun craft ideas to share with you. I will be adding a design to a t-shirt, a wall plaque, and creating two button badges. I use my Cricut to create the designs, and to save time, I have pre-cut the pieces. I will assemble and apply the designs during the video. Before I begin, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and check the bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Now let me just adjust my camera, and I will get back to you and start the video. The first item is a t-shirt, and I'm going to do a heat transfer that says Rainbow Sheep of the Family. Now you can see that this has multiple colors, cannot all be pressed at one time. I have it like this so that I can place it and have the colors line up with the black outline. So the first thing you want to do is just do this quickly, press to remove any sizing on the shirt. Now the press is set at 315. So I'm going to put it in the center of the shirt. And just peel away the one layer. Now I'm just going to tack this. I'm not going to give it a full 15 second press. The vinyl will shrink as you go along, so you don't want to do it too many times. So just about five seconds or so. Just enough to tack it. Line it up again. get the next color. And repeat the process, just attack. There is actually a uh, Pride Rainbow HTV vinyl and permanent vinyl available. Um, I just didn't have any.
Okay, so now the black is going to be the last press. So we're going to go the full 15 seconds. And I'm going to flip it over and press it for 15 seconds from the back. And it's done. The next item is button badges. I got these from Michaels. They're by Cre Creology. You just take the back off. this one wants to give me a problem there we go take out the insert I have two different sizes the big one is three and a half inch the small one is two and a half inch now I've done a print and cut on my Cricut the big one is going to be it takes a lot of courage to be who you are. And the smaller one, I may be straight, but I don't hate. And all you have to do, insert it and snap the back, back on. That's all there is to it. How quick and easy was that? The last item I have today is a wood plaque. This is just a wood blank that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I have painted it black. Now, this design has many layers, but not to worry, I'm going to assemble it and make it so that all of this transfers as one. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the sunflower part onto transfer tape. I've chosen a sunflower and I'm going to do all of the petals in pride colors. Remove the back. Just going to do a little notch here so I know which one is the starting one. And the first color is red. So I'm going to tape this. See if I can transfer both. 
petals together. Uh, better do it as one. And I'm going to do that for each color. Have that on the wrong one. I have this upside down. And now I'm going to stick all of that on top of a solid green piece, which will fill in for the leaves. Just have to figure out which way it goes. I advise that you maybe mark it so you know which way it fits. like that. So now all of these colors can be transferred onto the plaque together. No trying to piece it onto the plaque. Okay, just going to set that aside for a second. The saying for this is going to say love is all about hearts not parts. So transfer this. And I'm going to fill 
the heart in on the word love. The heart is the O. So I'm just going to make it so it's red. I didn't want the tape to stick, but it did. Now there's a first for everything. I have done this technique many times and I have never had this happen. I actually lost the little A here, so I have to hand place it. There we go. All fixed. And now we're going to just transfer it. onto our plaque. Make sure that it's going the right way. And add the sunflower to the top. It took a little bit of doing, but we got it done. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. See you soon. Bye for now.